Right, I got one of these uh, IKEA uh, light pucks. These are LED lights that I got from IKEA. And this is just one of them. And on their website, it looks like this. This is from IKEA website. It's the Dioder, which is D I O D E R uh, LED uh, light pucks. It's got four of them. It comes with a power supply and everything. So you get this plug it into your wall. And uh, that's the ID there, there, and number right there, zero zero one one nine four two four. Okay, now um, what I did is sometimes if you want to use it in your own project, um, yeah, this is a there's an issue here. If you want to use it for your own project, you might not be sure what the polarity is. I took it apart, took out the cover and everything. So that's what it looks like after you've taken out the cover. Which sure you need is like a screwdriver or something to pry it out. And um so this is the positive with the uh, words on there. Okay, with the lettering is, is the positive. The one without the lettering is uh, negative and it takes 12 volts, 12 volt DC. And it has to be correct. If you reverse it, uh, you got a problem because uh, it, it, it will blow out the uh, Zeno diode here. If you reverse the polarity, which you can easily do, once you reverse the polarity, it, it, it blows out the Zener diode here, which is this red thing here. And what happens is when at the 12 volt source, I got a 12 volt source here, um, correct polarity with the lettering at the positive and then non-lettering at the negative and watch what happens. See that the sparks and you can see the sparks. Okay. And when the sparks fly, this this style gets very really hot. See it's really really hot. And it lights up, I don't know if you can see the dial lighting up. See so it lights up. Look carefully, it lights up. Okay, so keep an eye on this dial here, the Xena dial. Or anyway, it heated up and it browned it up. So the solution to that is, it's very easy. But you, you'll see that the LED, no matter what you do, the LEDs don't light up. And you think it's destroyed before you throw it out. Um, all, you have, all you need is a, a pair of pliers. And um, just take a pair of needle, needle those pliers and just, just uh, twist this out of the way. Okay, just, just take that and just twist it out of the way. This says colorful one here, this Zeno diode. Just, just break it off. And. Um, once you break it off, it should be clean like this here. Like that, it should be clean. Okay. And now it won't matter if you uh, put it in the wrong polarity or not. Okay, so, so the lettering is the positive. 
Okay, so if I reverse it, if I put the positive and the negative, and the negative and the positive, it just won't light up. It won't, there's no further damage. Now if I put it correctly, it'll, it'll light up, as you can see. So it works fine. And uh, you can leave the other four diodes there. Just take out the Xena diode that's uh, copper colored. And it should work fine. That Xena diode was meant for protection. Uh, in case there's a spike or whatever, but um, over voltage or anything. And um, as soon as you reverse the polarity in one tenth of a second is to, you've destroyed it, so uh, you got to remove it. What 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 it's used for is if you have a series of um, LEDs, so it comes with four, which is actually in parallel. But if if they were in series, and you have you know, let's say you have six or seven, let's say you have three uh, LEDs in series, and you put a xenodiode in parallel, and that protects it from over voltage. And um, the other reason is if you have more than one series, you got like several uh, groups of them, like a, a chain of uh, LEDs. If one blows, it won't affect the others. So you, if you blow one, like a, in a Christmas tree lighting, if you blow in, if you blow one light, uh, about mm, like a whole string of them will will be uh, unlit. But if you put a Xeno dial there, it won't happen. It will just you'll just have one blown light. The rest of them will work. That's the reason for it. And uh, again, this is the uh, dioder at IKEA. It's a very nice uh, little light there. The only thing I don't like about it is that it's uh, warm white, and there's no option to choose a uh, natural white, which appears uh, brighter, and cool white uh, appears. To the brightest but that also hurt your eyes a little so natural white would be like a good compromise but that's not natural white that's a uh, warm white which is a little bit yellowish and some people like that because it's probably a little more cozy but it's uh, probably easier to read with uh, natural white light oh all right uh, nice washing have a good day